Malia and Sasha Obama spotted alone in Palm Springs. Speculations are flying after Malia and Sasha Obama were flown to a secret desert location this weekend. This is the first time Barack's daughters went somewhere alone, but this isn't weird seeing how Obama just learned what is coming for him from Thray Gowdy. Malia and Sasha Obama were at exclusive Palm Springs Bungalow Hotel. The hotel is very private it only has up to 20 guest houses and nobody would have found out if wasn't for one hotel employee who leaked it to a local media network. Larizan Resort and Spa confirmed to a local TV station that the Obama girls were there. A Palm Springs restaurant has confirmed Sasha and Malia Obama were in the Coachella Valley this weekend. Management at So.Pa and Larizan Resort and Spa confirmed the Obamas dined at the restaurant last night with a small group. They also said Saturday night was the last dinner service before the restaurant closed for the rest of the summer, according to Kesk Palm Springs. It is pretty clear that the small group that was with the girls were part of a security detail. And the fact that the hotel said they are going into their down season until September 1st, it sure looks like a great place to hide away. So, let's see what motivated Obama to send off his girls in a boring, primarily posh golfing community. Gowdy threatened Rice if she didn't testify about the Obama administration's alleged illegal activities. She previously admitted about the wiretapping, but then lied about it ever happening and deny ever obtaining FISA FISA, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, warrants or unmasked any Americans, but then, when Goody had the goods on her, she came clean. Goody, said, members of Congress don't pick the witnesses. Lawyers don't pick witnesses. The facts pick the witnesses, and whether Ambassador Rice likes it or not, she's a really important fact witness. Rice didn't act all alone she was under the former president's orders, and this is terrifying to Obama that he even ensure that investigators like Judicial Watch cannot access the materials concerning the unmasking by his national security adviser Susan Rice. The National Security Council informed Judicial Watch in a letter that its request for records submitted by the intelligence community of former National Security Advisor Susan Rice or her team has been moved in with other property that now belongs to the Barack Obama Presidential Library, according to Circa News. But this will not stop Goody from serving justice. He will jump on Rice and ask her how did she amass a fortune of $50 million while earning only $172,000 a year, and she will be forced to save herself. Please share this post on Facebook if you support Thray Gowdy. What is your opinion on this? Scroll down to comment below.